Good evening, this is Frank from For Yeshua. I just want to talk a little bit tonight about my life when I became a Christian and the events that has followed since. I was basically raised in church since I was a kid. I used to go to Bible Baptist when I was around five, six years old. Me and my sisters used to go. And then, I think around when I was six, six and a half, my, me and my parents, my family started going to church. I think that was back in maybe 79 or 80. Anyways, I was saved when I was seven. I was baptized also when I was seven years old. And then when I turned eight, I was filled with the Holy Ghost. Me and my mom was praying in the back of the church. Then the Lord gifted me with the Holy Spirit. And I guess you could say I had that typical preacher's kid lifestyle until I was a teenager. Around 14, when I was 14 or 15 years old, I started to stray away from the Lord. Nothing to do with my my parents or household or anything like that. Just I don't know. Just the desires of my heart, I guess. I started hanging around with the wrong people. Not to blame them, though. I'm responsible for my own actions. And I started getting to some bad things. Stealing. Vandalizing. I wasn't never much of a drinker or doing drugs, but I had my own problems. Not that doing drugs or drinking is any worse than what I was doing. Sin is sin regardless of what you're doing. The Lord looks at it all the same. So this went on until for a while I got my license was when I was 18 years old and got my first car and I was messing around speeding on the freeway through town I did over 130 miles an hour on the freeway just reckless going between the railroad crossings when the arms were down trying to beat the trains and just stupid stuff and like I said I was into stealing and vandalizing and just a bunch of garbage I remember I stole some stuff from a park diesel, stole some exercise machines, and one of my friends saw me loading it into a, my other friend's garage and it got back to my mom and dad. And my mom and dad asked me about it. And I said, yeah, it's true. And they said, we're not gonna be harboring a thief in our house. So I came clean and I called up the store that I stole from and I returned all the merchandise. And, and I was thankful afterwards because I was heading down into a, a bad path and that basically nipped it in the bud 
of my stealing. My friends ended up, you know, stealing cars and stuff like that. And other well, people I used to hang out with. And so in 94, the Lord called me back. You know, I had, what is that, six, seven, eight years, ten years, from when I was 14 until I was 24. The Lord called me back. And... You know, you, you think about that scripture, you raise a child in the way they should go, and when they're older, they won't depart from it. And I know I had my family praying for me. And I've been walking the best to my ability ever since. I'm 48 now. And I try my best to, with the grace of God, it's only by Jesus, um, anything that I walk this path, it's by his strength and his grace and his blood and his mercy. And now, um, you know, that's my testimony. He brought me out of a lot of things. I was addicted to a lot of things, porn, cussing, and just a bunch of stuff. And the Lord brought me out of it. And he's still helping me through a lot of stuff. And I just want to let you know that if he can do this for me, he can do it for others also. He's a gracious God. Jesus is so beautiful and wonderful. And his mercy is endless. If it wasn't for him, I'd be on a road to destruction. And I'm thankful every day for his mercy and his forgiveness and what he did for me on the cross I'll never forget it and I'm always looking towards him I'm always trying to do things for him because I love him because of the love that he showed me I want to share this love with other people And that's basically my life. And if anybody has any prayer requests or needs to talk, I'm free to talk. And I'll put my email address in the comment section and you can contact me there if you need prayer or just need help with something or we can pray together or just let me know thank you all have a blessed day and Jesus bless you all